Maker education in primary education, changes in a student's maker mindset and gender differences. It's important to promote the STEM fields and the 21st century and digital skills among students. The maker education allows the combination of these aspects bringing many benefits to students. This is why this study focuses on the implementation of maker activities through a 10-hour program across 10 schools. The aim of this study was to analyze the possible impacts of maker education interventions on a student's maker mindset regarding self-efficacy, interest and motivation, as well as assessing potential gender differences regarding their prior experience with maker education and changes experience on the maker mindset. This study was developed within the context of the Makers de las Aulas project, in English, Makers in the Classroom. This project consisted of a 10-hour program divided in six sessions, taught over six weeks. Ten public primary education centers in Barcelona, Spain, participated in the project. In each school, different projects were developed based on the tool that they decided to use and the topic linked to the project. Finally, 239 students consented to participate in the study. The sample was gender balanced and the students were between 9 and 13 years old. Questionnaires were administered before and after the program's implementation to evaluate the students' prior experience, self-efficacy, interest and motivation regarding maker activities. They were also asked about their age and gender. The questionnaires included forced choice questions open-ended questions and statements where students had to indicate their level of agreement according to a Likert scale. For the data analysis, all the data collected was the identified. The statistical analysis performed on the collected data were descriptive statistics, correlation analysis and content analysis for the open-ended questions. The first research question to be addressed in this research was, are there any differences between male and female primary education students in terms of their prior experience with maker education? We found that one third of students had heard about maker activities. And when comparing it between genders, there was a significant difference between boys and girls, having heard about it boys more than girls. Furthermore, regarding the places where they had used the tools, it was mainly at school. However, boys used these tools at home and a summer camp more than girls. When asking about the tools that they had used, it was the programming language Scratch without being any significant differences between genders. The second research question to be addressed was, do primary education students' self-efficacy and interest levels change after participating in a maker education experience? Regarding self-efficacy changes, we observed a significant improvement on being good at technology and being good at science. There was also an increase in their interest to look for information and talk about maker activities with others. The third and last research question addressed was, are there any differences between female and male primary education students in terms of interest, motivation and self-efficacy after participating in a maker education experience? The first difference observed was that girls experienced a significant change on their belief of being good at technology whereas this didn't increase much in the case of boys. In relation to interest, the interest related to looking for maker activities on the internet increased only in the case of boys. On the other hand, the belief of being creative decreased in the case of boys. Finally, it is important to note that despite the differences seen in research question one, their level of enjoyment between genders didn't present any differences. Finally, as seen in previous literature, this study contributes to confirming that boys have more prior knowledge and experience than girls in the use of maker tools and digital devices outside schools. This can be related to the fact that boys participate more frequently in extracurricular activities that involve technological devices. Similar to previous studies, participating in a maker project contributes to increasing participants' interest and motivation, regardless of their gender. Also, self-efficacy improved, especially among girls regarding their belief of being good at technology. In conclusion, despite some limitations such as a narrowed age range and a very specific context, this study contributes to demonstrating the positive impact that maker education can have on primary education students.
Maker Education is useful to motivate students, involve them in STEM-related fields, develop the 21st century digital skills, and reduce existing gender stereotypes. Thank you very much for your attention.